Hello everybody, Jamie here with kerplunkgaming.com and uh, today we are doing another tech tutorial. Today we'll be talking about the World Anchor, what it does and why it's useful to you. So if we look up this little this little item called the World Anchor, it takes obsidian, gold and diamond. And what a World Anchor does is that it keeps chunks of the server loaded no matter if there's somebody if there's somebody in uh, in that chunk or if they're offline that chunk will be continually loading and activated so this might be useful in terms of a quarry so if I'm logged off on my server this quarry will still run and uh, will still start digging even when I'm not logged onto the server or if I'm away at my friend my friends houses who are being built over there and I'm not in this chunk, this quarry will still load itself, which is incredibly, incredibly useful. So, let's make a world anchor. We've only got one diamond here, but uh, we can, can definitely condense some more. Uh, what do we have that is, oh, we've got tons of uranium. Holy cow, we do got a lot of uranium. But yeah, let's use a little bit of glowstone. We don't need a ton of that anymore. And a couple uranium. And let's see how many diamond we can make. There's two. Oh, there's four. There's okay. We got six. Nope. F oh, four. Sometimes it does do a little bit of these weird graphical glitches. Nothing to be worried about. It just uh, will trick you on how many uh, you actually have. We have a little bit of an obsidian here. We got 17, and we've got some gold ore over here. Fantastic. Okay, so let's make. I'm gonna make two of them. One for our geothermal generator, and one for our quarry. So here it is, the world anchor. Let's make another one here. And here we go. Now we have two world anchors. That is so fantastic. And they work in a pretty huge radius. Um, I think it is uh, a 16 by 16 chunk radius around uh, the world uh, anchor. So you'll see um, if I just put this sort of right above the quarry, which I believe is kind of right over here. Let's dig this out and we'll eventually hit our quarry. Let's go down a little bit. Yeah, I'll hit our quarry eventually here. There it is, there's our quarry. So this is a level uh, in which I need to put the world anchor. So let's just put a little bit of dirt for the time being right here and here. And I'll try to get into the middle of the quarry just so I can continue less. Oh, heavens, a creeper found its way into my hole. That's fine, totally fine. Didn't destroy anything that I hold dear and valuable. Um, so let's just see exactly where the edge of that quarry is. Okay, so it's over there. So I do need to go right a little bit as well. But we're going to keep this quarry loaded. Going to head over here, going to head over here, and then going to head over this way. Okay, let's take a look now where we are in relation to everything else in this quarry. Here we go, just taking a look. There's the quarry arm right there. This looks like a perfect place for the world anchor, so I'm just gonna place it right there, and now that chunk will be continually loaded forever. Fantastic. So now let's go put one, oh, it's still raining. How, how miserable. Let's go put one over for where our, um, oh, ouch, where our volcano is, and then I'll keep that, uh, that chunk loaded forever forever or those series of chunks loaded forever which is such good news I love that world anchors are the best uh, and I believe the world anchor is actually part of the railcraft mod uh, I haven't looked into the railcraft mod all, at all in these tutorials but we'll get to it eventually because it's a very very cool mod I do like it a lot so now we just put this world anchor right on over here Put it right next to it. There we go. Now this chunk will continue to stay loaded and we'll start pumping lava in 
no matter what. No matter what. Although, I think this may have just been a very small volcano because I don't think it's pumping any more lava. But maybe it's just because this chunk hasn't been loaded the entire time. Who knows? I don't know. But we'll see if we can get some more lava from this thing and uh, in the next coming days. So, uh, thank you very much for joining me on this tutorial for World Anchor. It's a bit of a short one. But if you're looking to see what a world anchor does, uh, how to use a world anchor, and what uses the world, like w why it's a useful tool, then uh, now you know. And knowledge is power. So thank you very much for joining us. If you'd like to start your own TechIt server, please go to www.kaplunkgaming.com, and I'd be more than happy to get you set up with your server and get it all smooth and running. Because I mean, look how smooth this server is. I'm running machines and there's other people on this server it's just great and it's just great news and we got quarries running as well let's see exactly where i put that world anchor oh it looks like i put it right there so not really right in the middle but it's the middle enough it'll it'll get the job done so thank you again for joining us and uh, we will see you next time